am Fiona Letisha and I'm Lillian. We are from Bagigos and Puz MC Naguru. We recently birthed Springs MC, which is led by Letisha and meets in Tinder. Mm. We received the instruction to go out and evangelize by Apostle Mose and our pastors, Pastor Jeremy and Pastor B3, which wasn't mm. easy to do at first. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it kept getting easier with time. So far, we've reached 39 people. 39 mm. people have received Jesus. We've reached yes. many more. Um, one of them being a gentleman who came to us asking for money to go and buy something to eat and we told him we had something better which is Jesus. So we prayed with him right there and then and he received Christ and he now comes to our home, uh, our home garage in Intinda. Uh, the most recent story also is of uh, four gentlemen, three of them were already born again and there was only one who wasn't born again and by the end of our chat he received Christ and while we were praying and about to leave they brought anointing oil and asked us to anoint them and we had Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Lillian pray over them and, and, anoint, them. and anoint them. Yes, we've also been evangelizing to children in the area of Nago Katale and the very first time we were there we had about 23 children coming to the home of Moses and Rebecca Kibota where we host these children and nine, uh, 14 of them gave their lives to Christ. Uh, nine of those actually come from uh, Muslim families. Still within that area of Nagoro Katale, there are many youth that are idle and they've been doing drugs, alcohol, so we decided to evangelize to them as well. Some of them are chewing weed, but two people, two of those youth actually also gave their lives. Mm. Yes, I started to reach out to the ladies I work with uh, at the factory. So far, four have received Jesus and many more are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we started a work fellowship where I hope to see them grow mm -hmm. and, and flourish and then bring more to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So for us, uh, what this experience has taught us is very similar to what the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 from verse 14 to 15, which says that how then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Mm -hmm. And how shall they preach unless they assent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So we believe that for all of us, we are those people that bring the good news. And it's not limited to the pastors or to the apostles, but it's our role as individuals. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you.